Okay, so lighting is a very important aspect when it comes to adding it to your illustrations. I'm gonna be showing you a few techniques that I know in Clip Studio Paint to help you take your illustrations to that next level. Hey guys, my name is Saeed. I'm the creative behind Drawn Up Comics, where we talk about creating our own manga style comic stories. And today we're gonna to be showing you how to add lighting to your illustrations. So I'm gonna have my assistant, Sam, show you the techniques that we use in our illustrations. And make sure you stick around to the end because there's something at the end, a little bonus tip, that's gonna help you take it to an even higher level. So, Sam, take it away. All right, hi guys, my name is Sam. And today we're gonna to be starting with shadows. Okay, use the magic wand tool to select your subject. Now, create a new layer over your flat colors, and you want to pick your color. I'm going to go with the dark, less saturated orange color, and fill with that same color. Then you want to turn that layer into a multiply layer. Boom! Look at that. Nice tone with a nice mood to it. Easy enough. Now, we move to the highlights. Yay! So, you grab your selection tool, and you select an area to highlight. Make a new layer above that shadow and then turn it into a screen layer. Pick a bright color, kind of mid saturation, and use that to fill. Apply your highlights where you need them. Here, I use a soft rim brush to soften the edges, and I set the brush to transparent. And then you're done with this. Now we move on to soft light. Soft light, as implied in the name, is a lot softer than highlights. It causes nice variations in light patterns and a little bit of a gradient. So this is how you do it. First, just like highlights, you use the magic wand and select your subject. And then you use the soft round brush to apply the light. And you just apply where you need it. Simple enough. Now you move to my favorite part, the hair light, otherwise known as bounce light or also referred to as rim light. All the same thing, just light bouncing from one thing onto another. I'll show you how to do it, let's go. First, you make a new layer, then you pick a color. In this case, I'm going with blue because it contrasts yellow. You're gonna go with a really bright blue and almost white. And then you set the layer to a screen layer. And you just apply to the opposite side of all the highlights. Okay, so the next part here is the eyes. Same approach. So you just add a new layer above your ink lines, and then you apply the highlight to the eyes. Easy peasy. All right, this piece is looking really good. But I got one more tip for you. A pro tip. First, save your progress. Don't forget to save. Now look at that, we're almost done. But wait, we have one more thing to do. Add some extra sauce to this drawing. On any layer, right-click and select Flatten Image. Then, right-click that layer and select Duplicate Layer. Then you want to go up to the left-hand side of the screen and select Filter. Then select Blur and then select Gaussian Blur. Set this strength to 50% and then press OK. And then you turn that layer into a screen layer. And voila! Look at the magic in that one! Now if you enjoyed the tips, please give this video a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And keep an eye out for the full length video in time lapse with no cuts or edits. If you want to see Saeed create the background for this drawing, go check us out over on Twitch where we draw and talk to you guys and even talk about our own comic story called Blood Chain.